Hi everyone, it's Jonathan with Relationships and Mental Illness. I'm here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada on a very smoky day. I'm in Stanley Park right now and uh, what would be an iconic view of the Vancouver skyline behind me uh, is almost completely obscured in the smoke. Um, <laughs> there are people walking by me on the path so I have to move out of their way occasionally. Um, <laughs> so, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, uh, I'm here on another solo trip, um, and I've really had a good time uh, being by myself. One of the things uh, when dealing with mental illness that's really hard uh, is knowing when to let people in. Um, when I'm by myself, there's nobody to judge me, um, there's nobody who's uh, commenting on whether or not I seem depressed or overly anxious uh, or anything like that. Um, so I'd actually recently taken about a two-month break from dating, from meeting new people as a whole. Um, just because the thought of having somebody new and having to go through the whole process of getting to know someone, having somebody to get to know me, you know, would they judge me? You know, how would that whole thing look like? Um, was just a really scary thing. Um, I've recently started letting some people back in. Um, and I can say that as scary as it is, and as much as there's the chance of rejection, um, it's actually, in a way, quite rewarding, and I'd forgotten about that part of it. Um, that those times that people don't reject you, and those times that people uh, really just accept me for who I am, and get to know me, uh, and seem to enjoy that process, um, that that makes the rest of it worthwhile. Um, so, in the blog I'm going to write, uh, that's going to go with this video, um, I'm going to talk a little bit more about uh, the process of letting people in um, and dealing with new people. But uh, yeah, uh, for now I'm going to keep walking uh, here along the seawall and see if I can get a better view of downtown. Bye.